What is Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Black Gucci. Have three long face, skinny bod. D, and we are back, still black with some more fire Boruto anime manga related content. I'm recording the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button, and share the video with your friends. I appreciate it. We already hit 2,000 subscribers. Let's hit 5K. Yes, Sersky. Okay, so what you can consider this video is kind of like a filler, I guess you could say. I don't know the type of name to bring to it, but it's not like it's supposed to like one of those videos that I'm working on right now or the ideas that I had that I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get around to making that video. I did have the title for this video, but it's not really a long video and it's more so a point as opposed to like a breakdown or a discussion. I guess you could say it's a discussion, right? I want to see, I enjoy two blue vortex. I enjoy the direction it's going in, but I want to see the expansion i want to see the world building and it's hard to say that because we know borto as an anime is like bro he's in a hidden mist village he's in a hidden stone village he might he hasn't popped up to the hidden cloud you know he, he poked his head into the hidden sand and then he's going to the hozuki castle he's going all around the world and then some you feel me and i like it and i'm all here for it but the manga feels so one-dimensional in terms of if we're not focused on these seven people, there's nothing else to really talk about, right? And it's kind of not hard to know what I'm talking about if it's not Boruto Kawaki and as of late, Sarada, but definitely Boruto Kawaki, Code, uh, Ada. It's never just Damon, but Damon and Ada always together. So Ada, Amato, Sasuke, you know, nowadays, like Shikamaru, like I said, Shikamaru and Sarada becoming a part of it and also Mitsuki. But if we're not focused on them, it's really nothing going on in the story, right? And they they, they made it to a point where they written out Naruto, they written out Sasuke, as opposed to how Sasuke is written out. We don't currently know right now. Stay tuned for that video. But they written out these characters. It's like when we get to the end game of the story story is kind of like the end all be all like with the avengers they want to save the world but they just don't leave new york city which doesn't really make sense right so now we're getting past these just the ninja world threats we're getting into like universal things where we see ada affecting the entire planet with her omnipotence jutsu we understand code is trying to not just destroy this world this entire planet right and then go on from planet to planet in different galaxies and absorbing all of those chakra foods so we're getting that type of territory but every time we're in the story we're just here in the hidden leaf village i want to see the other villages and i know where we passed the point where the disputes and the territorial you know what i'm saying aggressions and and cold wars isn't amongst the other villages as opposed to where naruto and shippuden where we understand the hidden cloud and the hidden leaf got beef the hidden mist and the hidden sand got beef the hidden sand and the hidden leaf then did the truths but you know what i'm saying the hidden stone ain't fucking with none of that shit we're not on those type of political parties as opposed to nah it's human versus non-human right so now when we're focused on the humans we're just focusing on the sector of the hidden leaf village right as that's why i say when it's like the avengers we're here to save the world but you really just saved new york city my guy like what happened to california you feel me like what about the peoples up in seattle getting buses thrown around us? like it's, it's that type of thing so now that we have a point where as opposed to if it happened or not the world believes it's a select few ada damon kawaki and boruto who knows that Naruto is actually alive. Boruto, as opposed to understanding he's alive, he doesn't know where Naruto's at. So that's his whole thing. He still doesn't know where Naruto's at, his well-being. He's just going off of Kawaki's word. He's in a frozen state of the Daiko Koten dimension where they don't need to eat or sleep and they won't age until Kawaki releases them. So Boruto knows that much about his father's whereabouts. Everybody else is like, this dude is dead. Naruto Uzumaki, the guy, like the, 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 the OG of the ninja world. I want to see what the Shutsukage have to say. I want to see what the Kaze Kage has to say. Gara was damn near this dude's best friend. I want to see where my big dog Shinki got to say about it. About like, okay, everybody essentially put their hopes in this guy, Naruto. Because if anything... He gonna be able to fix the problem when something as like unbelievable as Ishiki popped up where it was like, damn, even now we're at a point where Naruto, this is out of your hands, my guy. We're not strong enough to stop him at the end of the day. Naruto did it. 
You feel me? So it's like Naruto is like he, he's like a god to these niggas. Let's just keep it a buck. He's like, he's really like a deity to these niggas and he's dead. So let's not stay in the Hidden Leaf Village. Let's see how other villages who only hear of Naruto's greatness react or other villages who probably came across Naruto once in their lifetime and he changed their life forever. But now they always appreciate and respect him for that. Or other villages that, like I said, just hear about all of the exploits. Oh, Naruto is the reason why we have peace in the five great nations. How do they handle the news? Naruto is dead. I want to see that. Or even if they don't right let's get this let's get this a good way to bring back the tension amongst the villages political you know political disputes is okay five kage summit why the fuck is shikamaru wearing the eighth vest right like hold on what happened to naruto why didn't you update us on naruto or it's kind of hard for me to believe that they don't tell the other villages that naruto died or that shikamaru is you know what i'm saying now the eighth hokage as opposed to probably putting up a front a lie like yeah my guy naruto is going through something he's sick right now we got to figure out a way to break the news to the world they're not going to wait three years to tell the world even though it's going to be detrimental to a lot of people's ears to hear like dang boy even when we was facing the threat like ishiki where people say even naruto couldn't do it guess what naruto did it now they're gonna be like yeah that guy that guy he's dead he's he's no longer breathing so i want to see what these people have to say i want to see gara's reaction i want to see darui's reaction i want to see killer b's reaction i want to see everybody's reaction and how they decide to go about right the the effect of like yeah we got to really hunt this guy boruto i.e kawaki we understand the truth boruto down because of the repercussions and the things that he did not just to naruto but affecting the ninja world that's the greatest weapon tree asset that we have ever had in our lifetime and you just like off that man no we gotta we gotta handle the situation so it should be some furious heads in the other villages it should be some happy feudal lords because then we can even start diving deeper into it we know a whole bunch of coups have been placed on naruto's life because he's so strong that there's no point of breaking the treaty that he created and ultimately favors the hidden leaf because when you think about it Every villain and then some done came from the Hidden Leaf Village. So at the end of the day, when we find peace, we sure as hell not putting y'all niggas in charge. But Naruto and Sasuke are so strong that you don't got no choice but to agree to the terms that they present in the peace treaty. So now you got feudal lords of different lands who want to take out Naruto because they know war makes money. They can't do it because they can't kill the man. So we got a line right between the people that are devastated and the people like, yes, this nigga Naruto is out the picture. I want to see this. I want to see it in the development. Now, before, for the sake of not making this video any much longer than it needs to be, that's really the point. I want to see the world's reaction to Naruto's death, and it ultimately is going to do so much better for the story. As a, even, even if the story is already great, I, I enjoyed it, love it. Let's not miss out on this perfect opportunity right here. Let's take advantage of Naruto being out the story by actually using Naruto out of the story, right? It's your boy, Black Chia. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know y'all's stance and how y'all think the, the story or Kishimoto should actually go about this in terms of presenting Naruto's death and the world's reaction to so. Holla at you, bro. I'm holla at y'all. Black Chia out. Yes, sir. Ski! We take a trip to the sky. Show them that our limits too high. Fuck up all the hips on the west side. She said she